Firstly, measure the width of the bay. A standard bay is 4.5 metres at the front. This may vary. Of this measurement to find the centre, this will be your target line and also where the lights will be positioned above. Then install the camera between the third and fourth light. Line the three balls on the target line. Make sure the first ball is on the centre of the hitting mat. Next, open the top camera calibration. Select Start, All Programs, GPS Golf Simulator, Calibration, and select Top Camera Test. A window will appear with five circles inside. This shows the light intensity. The first two from the left should be over 700, the third and fourth should be over 1000, and the fifth should be less than 500 at all times. These numbers will vary due to the intensity of the camera and also the type of carpet. A non-reflective carpet is advised. To correctly set up the first ball calibration, move the camera position towards or away from the projector screen to visually see the first ball move into the yellow circle. The ball on the screen will then turn green. To set up the second ball, move the second ball towards the first ball or away to appear in the purple box, but ensure the ball is still on the target line. This will be approximately one meter away from the first ball. This second ball should be in the center of the yellow circle. If not, adjust the camera by twisting left to right and also adjust the tilt to visually see the first and second balls inside the yellow circles on the ball detection screen. With the third ball, move towards or away from the second ball on the target line. This should then appear inside the third yellow circle. If this third ball isn't visible inside the yellow circle, increase the camera intensity. Please refer to the camera intensity video. Then measure from the camera lens to the target line. This measurement will be needed for the GPS program. The best position will be around 2.8 meters. Then open the GPS program. Select play, defaults, more defaults, and then measurement setup and insert the required measurement into the top camera distance. Also see that both cameras are detected and the camera host controllers are okay.